it's Amy from MakerPad and I'm going to show you how you can use Kodash to create a uh, super easy check-in stand-up app for your team. So the first thing I'm going to do is log into Coda and select new doc. And I'm going to choose options and just turn off this uh, section name and icon setting. And I'm going to drag in a logo and center it on the page, make it a little bit smaller. And then I'm gonna add some text, uh, starting with an emoji. It says, hi, let us know how you're doing and what you're up to today. I'm gonna make that a little bigger. And then the first question I'm going to ask is, what's your theme today? I'm gonna make that a medium heading and then I'm gonna just grab a few emojis. So um, I'm gonna do emoji uh, nerd face and then I'm gonna do emoji uh, computer. I'm gonna do emoji Ta-da! And then, uh, then emoji um, this money with wings. And now I'm going to create a table called themes. And I'm just going to copy this first emoji and change this to my column header. And I'm going to change this column to be a button. And when, uh, and I want the label to be um, education with the emoji. And now I'm going to copy the second emoji, put it, do the same thing here, change this to a button. Make this label work. Make the third column a fun option. And then the last one I'm going to make is a uh, side hustle button. So I can go ahead and uh, delete those. And I can also um, delete these two extra rows. Um, and now I'm going to go over into uh, the side panel, hit new and hit new folder, which will, I will call data. And I'm going to create a new section here called data analysis. And the first table I'm going to create is going to be a themes analysis table. And this table is going to be date, or this column is going to be date, this will be user, and this will be theme. So now I'm gonna head back over to section one and I need to set up my button. So I'm going to format the column again, and this time I'm going to create an action that says add row, and I'm going to um, add a row to my theme analysis table, which is in this data analysis section, and I'm going to set the date value to equal today's date, I press enter. Then the user will equal the logged in, the current logged in user. And then lastly, theme, I'm going to have be uh, this value if they've hit this button. And now I pretty much just have to go through and do the same thing for all of these buttons. So go ahead and copy that, add a row. We're going to add to that theme analysis table. Again, date equals today. User equals um, user 
and then theme equals this value. And then one more time for side hustle. Oops. There we go. And I am going to click on these little three dots and just hide that title. And I'm also going to click on this little drop down and do none. Cool. So now I'm going to do a kind of a fun one, which will be have you shower today. Maybe I'll add some side eye. And I'm going to make that also a medium heading and I'm gonna do two buttons here. So I'm gonna add a button and it will be yes. And try that again, yes. But we need to go back into data analysis and add in a new table, which will be a shower analysis. Column one will be um, date again. Column two will be user. And column three will be yes, no. So go back to section one and we will back into our button and the add action um, will be add row to our shower analysis set value to uh, date again equals today user equals the logged in user and then yes no equals yes and then we can create another button called nope and we can add row to shower analysis and do the same thing again And uh, before we do our next one, let's go ahead and go to data analysis and create another table for exercise. And this will be date, user, yes, no. And we'll add a table called exercise. And we'll just have yes, or we'll uh, not have anything for the column and have yes, no. And then uh, we'll format this column to be checkboxes and delete this one. And we can delete this row. And I'm going to have some conditional formatting, which will say if it's checked, I'm going to make it a green color in this column. So I check it off here, it turns green and so on. Um, and now I'm going to add some automation 
So I'm going to go to Doc Settings and click on Automations, and my rule is going to be when a row changes in my exercise table in the column two, I'm then going to add that row to my exercise analysis table, and I'm going to set um, yes, no to equal to be exercise column two. And then date again equals today and user equals logged in user. And of course, I'm going to turn that on, X out, and then I'm going to hide the title. I'm going to uh, hide my column headers. I'm going to select none here, and then I'm going to add some text that says, um, will you sweat today? And make that medium heading. And now my last one is going to be a, what are you reading, watching, listening to? So before I set up this table, I'm going to go to data analysis and do my last table over here. This will be media analysis. And this column is going to be um, title, link, reading. And then I'm going to do a checkbox that's going to be called um, the automation requirement. And I'll explain this in a little bit. And then we'll do a date and submitted by. And change this rating column to a number scale. So go back to section one and let's add a table just called media column one here will be a uh, title column two will be a link column three will make um, into our rating column and then we are going to add a button called submit and then we'll do a properties created by. And I'm going to hide this. Then I'm going to make this none, hide the title. And now we need to set up our um, submit button. So I'm going to format this. The label will be submit. The action will be add a row to our media analysis table. We'll set title to equal this row dot title, enter. Link again will be this row period link. Rating equals this row period rating. And then we will have automation equals um, automation equals true. And then date will be today's date. And submitted by it will be user.
I'm going to delete these three rows here. Do the opposite of what I just did. And now I'm going to set up some more automations. So I'm going to go to doc settings, automation, add a rule. And I'm going to say when uh, the row changes in my media analysis table in the automation requirement column, I want to delete the rows in this table because I want it to clear for the next person to be able to um, use it. So I'm going to apply, apply this to all rows and then I'm going to turn it on. So let's try it out. So I am going to go over here to data analysis and I'm going to get rid of everything. So my theme today will be education. I showered today. I worked out in uh, playlist abc.com. It was okay. I'm going to hit submit. And now that's set back to zero, but this didn't clear. So if I wanted, I could go and add one more automation that said, um, that says, uh, when media, this table, when this column, that says when this automation media analysis, when this automation requirement field changes to, um, to also modify this exercise table, column two, to be false. So now let's try it again. So we have Education, yes, yes, test again, test.com, hit submit, and now everything's set back to empty, and now let's go to data analysis, and I have all my information here, and then I could add a chart. I wanted to and start measuring, let's say, um, themes of my users by date or exercise habits and so on. And then if you had a pro account, you can hide your data a uh, set uh, folder and then you could also go into your settings and you could um, lock some of this information so it's more uh, just input and not so much uh, people having control over data so this is just a quick easy way to create a check-in stand-up app for your team or community if you have any questions uh, don't hesitate to reach out in the makerpad community thanks for watching